Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here, another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the Windows Installer Error 1722. So whether you might have an incomplete installation on your hands or you might have issues with your registry entries, this tutorial will hopefully be able to resolve it without too much of a hassle. First thing I would suggest doing would be to open up the Start menu, so left click on the Start button one time, type in CMD, Best match should come back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now I'm going to have two commands in the description of my video. I want you guys to just copy one at a time out. And we're going to go up to the top bar of this command prompt window, right click on it, left click edit, and then left click on paste. It's just M S I E X E C and then a space forward slash unregister. If you just wanted to type it out as opposed to copying and pasting it from my description. You can just copy it exactly as it appears on my screen. Once you've done that, now you want to go ahead and register. So I'm going to copy the second command from my description and then I'm going to go up to the top here, right click, edit, and paste. Basically the same thing as the first except instead of doing on, we're going to do re and then you're going to hit enter on your keyboard. Once you're done with that, I would suggest restarting your computer, attempt to rerun the application installer, and hopefully that has resolved the problem. If it has not, another thing you can try would be to run a system restore. I've noticed that this has had success in the past, so in order to maybe yield some good results, I'm going to highlight how to do that in today's tutorial as well. So again, head back to Start Menu, type in System Restore. Should say Create a Restore Point, left click on that and you're going to have to give it a second here to load here and you want to make sure system protection is on. If it's currently off you're not going to have any system restore points. But let's say I created a restore point here so let's say I turned it on and then you see the system restore area you can select right next to where it says you can undo system changes by reverting your computer to a previous restore point. If you left click on the system restore button right here give it a moment to load up here. If you did have any restore points just select whatever the most recently created restore point would be is my personal recommendation. Left click on it and then go ahead left click on next, follow along the on-screen prompts. Hopefully that will have been able to resolve the issue as well. Another thing you can try, I'm going to close out of here, would be to go back into an elevated command prompt window. So we're going to go back into the start menu, type in CMD again. Best match once again should say command prompt, right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. Again, if you receive a user account control prompt, you want to go ahead and left click on yes. Now I am going to have another command underneath the two commands that I highlighted earlier. I want you guys to copy it. Again, just right click over the whole command, right click copy, and then up to the command prompt window here. Right click, left click on edit, and then left click on paste. DISM.exe space forward slash online another space, forward slash cleanup, then a dash, image, another space, forward slash restore health, then you want to hit enter on your keyboard. This will take some time to run. I'm not going to drag this video out too long. It'll just probably take about 20 to 30 minutes in my experience just to do a full run here. And if it finds anything, it should be able to hopefully resolve it, restart your computer, and hopefully that should be about it. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out, and as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.